Hello, and welcome to today's book chat. So the book that I'm going to talk about today has actually been holding up my book chats for almost a month now. And I know I probably should have just started talking about the next book I've read or the next book, but uh, I wanted to talk about this book, but I just wasn't sure because I generally try not to talk about a book on here unless I can recommend it. And the book I'm going to talk about today, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, um, I wasn't really sure whether it was one I wanted to recommend. Now, did I enjoy it? Yes, in parts and places, there were aspects of it that I enjoyed. And there were other aspects that just didn't really work for me. And this could be partly because I'm a 31 year old woman and not a young adult who the book is arguably intended for. Um, but I've read many young adult books that I loved that I thought were amazing and thought provoking. Um, this book, All the Bright Places, has actually been compared to The Fault in Our Stars. And I didn't know that when I read it. I just actually recently found that out, looked it up. And I think the same way I felt about that book to a degree I feel about All the Bright Places in that I was never really bored but a lot of the plot or the story the characters just didn't fully work for me. Aspects though worked really well and in both books there were certain lines um, be it a sentence or two or sometimes even less that just really rung true for me, really spoke to my soul. And as I'm an author myself, those are the kind of lines that, you know, critics and editors tell us if they're there, that means they're your darlings and you should pull them out. But I'm really glad that these authors didn't pull those lines out, even though they kind of, um, you know, flash a light and don't necessarily meld 100% with the books, because those are the kind of lines that that stay with you, that sink a little bit into your soul. And as an author, it also gives me the motivation sometimes to be like, you know what, I'm not going to kill this darling, I'm going to keep it in there. So um, I won't talk a ton about what All the Bright Places is about. If you read anything about it, the back blurb, the back of the book, um, anything like that, you're going to get the gist. So I will just say that it is about a troubled ma young man named Augustus. No, <laughs> that's The Fault in Our Stars. A troubled young man named Theodore Finch and a troubled young woman named Violet. Um, I can't remember her last name at the moment. But anyways, uh, we see these two characters as they work through, try to work through their issues by clinging to each other. Um, some issues of which are very real, very strong. And the author... She definitely takes us on a journey through these characters um, that if anything I've said has sparked your interest, I would say this book is worth reading. Um, again, I was never bored. You know, it, it flowed well and it was interesting. It was quirky. Um, I'm sure a lot of people would find that quirkiness unappealing, but uh, it was okay. It was all right. And yeah, so this is kind of one of those books that, you know, if something in it calls to you, Give it a read. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, All the Right Places by Jennifer Niven. And if you want to learn a little bit more about it, you can head over to my website, charlinecar.com, and get the links to the author's website, the book, and kind of the core of my thoughts. All right. Have a great day.